Today, I'll talk to you about how to do interstitial journaling with a tool called LogSeq. Hey, I'm Ellie. I'm a founder of 5,000 member design community based in Asia. And in this channel, I talk to you about visual thinking, design, and self-development. And today, let's talk about developing yourself by journaling. In particular, doing a specific kind of journaling called interstitial journal. So what is interstitial journaling? Let me show you. This is how an interstitial journal looks like. So what's different between interstitial journaling and traditional journaling is you just add these timestamps. In a previous video, I briefly talked about interstitial journaling and interstitial sketching. Click here to see that video. But today, let's talk specifically about interstitial journaling. Now, interstitial journaling is something I'd learned from Nest Labs and Anne-Laure Lecomte. So Anne-Laure Lecomte is someone who is famous for advocating this kind of journaling, which is interstitial journaling. Basically, the idea with interstitial journaling is if you have two to five minutes a day, write what's on your mind. What are you thinking right now? And the way I do that, my particular case, is using the tool called LogSeq. This is LogSeq. LogSeq is a local only, non secure outline liner notebook for organizing, sharing your knowledge, your personal knowledge piece. I found that this is effective for me when I am trying to record what's on my mind today. And interstitial journaling in particular helps me organize my thoughts throughout the day. So what is interstitial journaling? Basically, you record, take down notes or document what's happening or what's on your mind throughout the day. And I do that effectively with LogSeq. So LogSeq, here, for instance, at 1 a.m., I was awake uh, reading some notes and I took down my notes. And what was distinct about the interstitial journaling is to also include the time when you wrote that note down. And I'm write, writing the time here. And then see my interstitial journal here. This back in September 2021. Why do interstitial journaling? Well, Anne-Laure Lecomte talks specifically mentions that it helps us do proactive breaks. It helps us reflect on our previous task before we move on to the next one also helps us be mindful of when we are procrastinating and that's very helpful stop procrastinating so those two things are really the reasons why you should practice interstitial journaling now what you see here is i'm interstitial journaling with logic and the other reason why you want to do this is to improve your well-being to improve your lifestyle to bring yourself mindfulness you know, mindfulness is the being aware of what's going on just being aware of what's going on what's the situation for you right now and see is this improving your quality of life so how do you use logseek for uh, interstitial journaling i demoed to you how that looks like for me uh, you basically use this tool you go to logseek.com and you can actually go to logseek.com immediately to see how it works like um let me show you so here is an example of how logseek will look like the first time you visit the website they have a demo graph basically graph means a database of where you're taking your notes and you can actually practice typing here uh, today um, you can practice do you doing your interstitial journaling for instance i can say today um, i'm recording this youtube video on interstitial journaling now why use a tool like this a reason why you would want to use a tool like logseek or another tool similar to this is from research or notion why you would use tools like this is because what's called uh, bi-directional linking bi-directional linking is this i'll show you if i do this this becomes a link and if i click on this link it creates a linked reference to where i had mentioned that link you make a link it creates a page and it links back to the previous page where it was mentioned now, what's cool about this is you can talk about uh, in interstitial journaling so when you take note of what's happening to you throughout throughout the day throughout the day throughout the day i don't know how to spell throughout the day um, by recording the time and noting and writing down what's on your mind at the time mind at that time that's what i'm doing right now so that's interstitial journaling so let me go back to the 
previous date. So I have now recording of interstitial journaling. And what and you can see, you can hover, you see how it looks like. Now in the future, if I create another entry on something about, let's say, let's go back to our previous date. Can I access? There are cool tools like this. If you press on the symbol, it will show you the tools that you can use. So I'll use the date picker. For instance, I go to a date picker and say I go to a previous date, say December 1. For example, I click, so you see that I clicked and it went back to December 1. Say I was doing something on December 1 and I can I'll write an interstitial journal entry and say, I should write something about inter. And you notice that it will show me what the existing link on interstitial journaling. If I click on that, it now becomes a link that I can refer to my previous journal and this is what's really valuable for me. I, I'm seeing all these entries that have the keyword interstitial journal. This builds up connection for all my thoughts with those keywords as reference. And I, this is very useful for me. When I do this kind of connecting ideas, I see a history of when I was thinking about this particular idea. For example, I thought about December 1 and I thought about December 20. And another cool thing you could do with uh, LogSeq, which you can also do in Room Research, of course, and other, other similar tools, is you can future tag something. When I revisit the future, say reflection, I want to put a, and you can make it title by adding the hashtag sign, reflection. And I would like to revisit this again in the future. For instance, a week, let me re revisit this from um, a week from now, let's say next week. I can tag it like that and I can make it to a hashtag so it becomes smaller, just a formatting change. It, you tag. And remember last week when you thought about Remember last week when I thought about if I do the double brackets thing again, interstitial journal, it will show me that link or I can create a new page. And this is again a bi-directional link journaling. So something uh, reminding myself in the future, a week from now, today's 20th and in a week in the future, a week from now, this will show. So this is 27. I go back to today this is what i've been typing for today um, right you can see it there and if i click here on all international journaling it will show me all the my notes that have the tag with interstitial journal now i like a log seek because it does this for me automatically it can be offline uh, it's online right now but this can be an offline database and I just sync it with either Dropbox or GitHub, another online tools, if I want to have it synced online. What's uh, the cons of using LogSeq right now is it's still in beta. Um, it's not yet perfect, and there are still a couple of bugs in the program. And there are very limited set of, of features that are available. So unlike Rome, for instance, there are a lot of plugins in Rome or in Obsidian, another note-taking tool, there are a lot of plugins. There are uh, fewer um, plugins that are available in LogSeq because it just started. Hey, so that's how I do interstitial journaling on LogSeq. If you like this, like and subscribe. And maybe you'd like to see my previous video talking about how to doodle for beginners or how to doodle productively. Maybe you like to read the three books that changed my life this year. Thank you and see you guys next time.